Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and I've gotten another awesome question. So, alright, it was <clears throat> hinting around for uh, 3D shaping arrays uh, in NumPy. So, alright, it was talking about table, it was when we were using our reshaping and giving it uh, three three integers, three dimensions, so 3D. So we are used to, and it's just reshape one comma two comma five. Uh, two means, two, two is row, five is column, what is one? Group. So all right, let's just, let's just get started. So all right, here's where it was before. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So, all right, two rows <clears throat> of five. Now we're going to change it to one comma. You're not going to be able to see much of a difference, but then we're going to... I did a little bit of drawing, so please don't laugh. I'm not a graphics designer or an artist. So, all right, this is a little not easy to see, but we've added another... Um, section so but this is going to really show you and then I'll show you graphically but this is what we do we build one video at a time and we answer uh, comments questions and video requests so all right now this may still not show it but this is two rows of five a two by five array and another two by five array so it's three dimensionals, three dimensional, and it is a graphical, it is a digital representation of this. Two by five with another two by five. So you can actually, so you can think about this three dimensionally or separate groups of multiple two by five. And you could then, and we're gonna get really sophisticated, and this is where data science really became. So then you can, you could go through and look at groupings of everything just in this top section if we had three or because look you could do this 30 oops there we go boom continuously you have 4D here, 4 d but it's really still three-dimensional, but you just go on and on and on. So this is a touch-on. I didn't know when we'd get to it, but somebody asked, so guess what? We got to it. So this is how you can make three-dimensional space with arrays. This is why NumPy is absolutely ridiculously so powerful, but that is what the third digit could be with reshape you can literally make 3D objects inside a computer with NumPy. So I love this stuff so much. Great question. You guys are some of the best subscribers. I mean, this the wonderful supportive comments that I've gotten just in the past couple days cheering me on. You guys have other things in your life to do. You don't have to do that, but you do it. And that's what, that's what keeps me going. That's why... I know this is small, but I have people who are interested and support each other. I'm having comments on comments. You guys are communicating with each other. So I love this. I appreciate it. I can't tell you guys thank you enough. Um, just like, share, keep commenting, um, keep watching. Uh, you know anybody who's struggling or just wanting to learn? It's coming up on fall really soon. So all right, real quick video today. Thanks. Make sure we're uh, clicking subscribe and the notification bell. We have videos coming out all the time. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.